Hi all, and welcome to this ECF commentary stream. Uh, I am WIM Tasha Regan, and I'm joined by FM Peter Sowry, and we are going to be actually commentating on two different events right now. Um, one is the team battle, um, and so hi the decoder, how are you doing? As uh, so we're going to be commenting on the team battle, we will be looking at games from the decoder and the other members of the English team. Um, at the same time, we will also pop in on some of the um, ECF Grand Prix rapid games um, because that's happening at the same time. Uh, and so we've got a lot of players we know there, including you can see on our screen right now, we're just showing the leaderboard at the moment. So including uh, Keith Arkell, who is GM Atomrod, um, and also uh, Chris Davison seems to be in first place at the moment with a 100% four out of four. We also have Harry Grieve in seventh. We have Frankie GM, who I believe is only eight years old, um, who was on our stream yesterday. Thank you, the decoder. Yeah, we, yes, uh, I should say um, Matthew Sadler is still not feeling well today. Uh, he's had an extremely busy week and had to half past four one morning, so he thinks that's probably something to do with it. Um, and we will send him a, a big get well from you, the decoder, uh, and, and hopefully he'll be back to normal soon. Um, okay. Right, we've got just a few minutes until the team battle starts. So let's start off by looking at the Grand Prix event. Um, and why don't let's see see who's still playing. I'll just go down that down the top few boards and see if we can find someone who is ah, this one's still going. Okay, so if we have a look at this, okay, this is Harry Grieve against Saban 2005. Um, so I don't know if that means Saban 2005 was born in 2005, which would make them um, a, a junior player. Uh, what we've got is Harry Grieve white and Saban as black. What do you think of this position, Peter? Well, I like the fact, if I'm black, I like the fact that I control the D file. That's a, yeah. that's a really big factor. In this sort of position where you have pawns like this, where white has a queenside pawn majority, often controlling the D file is going to be very important. But... Um, oh, is there a oh, fork here? What about... Well, there um... might be. I mean, he's allowing knight D6. He's allowing rook D4, maybe. He's allowing... That looks... That's before. just about okay, isn't it? But White's able to um, to keep defending that bishop, so so. But there might easily be a nasty accident in, in a moment. Um, I mean, he might play. Okay. So that's nice, solidifying that knight there on f five. Yeah. Okay, so now. Can White play a rook to d1? Is that going to help him? Ah, oh, maybe. It he looks might, like he doesn't might, it? Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Harry Grieve has put his rook onto d1. Um, so Harry is what? Is White? Is he? Yeah, Harry's White here. Yeah, yeah. And so Harry's a, a very strong player, a fide master, um, and also actually, uh, this is rapid. He's absolutely renowned for his um, blitz play. He's he's can be play extremely fast when he needs to. So um, who would you rather be, Natasha? Would you prefer to be white or black here? Oh, I, um, I don't know, actually. I mean, I, I, I quite liked the black position initially, but um, if things, oh, if things do get tricky, swapped off, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, it's very tricky. Because if things get swapped off, then... Um, that the pawn on b7 looks, you know, like the bishop's always kind of pressuring that pawn and white has uh, three against two on the queen side. Um, so in, in that, so it's not, you know, they say queen and knight, you prefer queen and knight to queen mm. and bishop. Um, but actually that bishop on that that long diagonal on, and, and threatening that b7 pawn is, is, is pretty good. I, I mean, suppose like white is okay, yeah, but, but 
But uh, black's going to play e5, and that knight is never going to be shifted, is it? Ah, yes, and that, that solidifies that knight in the middle. Yes, yeah, so, so black offered a draw and white declined. Um, now, white is a little bit down on the clock, but as I say, Harry Grieve um, is very, very fast. So uh, I, I don't think he'll be worried about time at all. All right, let's see if we can pop in on another one or two games um, just before that um, team battle starts. So let's see. I, I had, I, I've paused from this one. It keeps taking me back to me. Uh, let's see who else we get. Um, okay. I mean, a lot of these games will have finished already. So I'm just, ah, okay. Let's have a look at the Curious Parrot. Um, so we've got the... Uh, F Fide Master, real baggy, is white, and the curious parrot is black. Oh, this game actually looks um, looks quite decisive because yep. white has an extra piece here. So we'll we'll, we'll have a keep looking. Um, righty, and uh, let's see. Dave Walker, David Walker, um, is white here against Scorpio forty four. Um, and so David Walker um, uh, is a, a senior player. He played in the um, British seniors um, and was doing, he did very well there. Um, and he is in a rook and pawn ending now. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six against five. So white has the extra pawn. Um, but I think this one's very easy for white. Looks to me very good for white, doesn't it? Because that king can come in and also the rook, the rook, black rook can never move. White will just go to a king and pawn end game. Yeah. So, so uh, this, this one's one. looking pretty clear. Yeah, that one's. Uh... Okay. And so now white could actually just take this pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So who else do we have? Um Cute, teeny, cold. Let's see that. Uh, so um, this is cute, teeny, cold. Uh, playing against Rex Dimid. Um, Re oh, I can hear a cat, Peter. Yes, that was the cat. He, he had a very critical comment to make on the game but i don't speak cat so i don't understand don't know what oh the cat yes the cat is probably commenting oh. come on come on you can jump up then come on come on oh decoder says that shining silver was playing very well against atomrod and was about to win but accepted a draw due to time trouble yeah sometimes you, you do have to keep an eye on your time don't you and uh, and um and so sometimes you do have to do that now. This is just one minute left each for cute, tiny, cold, and Rex Dimmit. Now, Rex Dimmit has a the much higher rating in this game, 2012. Um, but it's got a question mark, so it suggests Rex Dimmit hasn't played um, a lot of games at this mm. at this time control. But so, so Black is a piece up here, so yeah. Uh, so this is this rising is, happens. He will win. Pretty this. clear. Fine, let's see if we can catch one. Actually, the, the team battle is about to start, so I'm going to just okay. now flip over um, to the team battle. And let's see who we have got playing. Okay, so English chess players. We have 11 players at the moment. Um, and at the end of the day, the score of the top 10 will count for us. Um, so we will see how we do against Ilolo, friendly chess. Uh, we've had a few battles against Ilolo, who are actually a very strong opposition, and also Club Filoni Chess. Um, we actually have um, 35 teams playing. And um, at the moment, we're the third rated team. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and so we have Woodpusher. Um, it's starting in 10 seconds. Woodpusher is uh, Michael Harris, is our top rated player. Uh, we also have Will Sonia, Matt Paul, Nat Paul, Mouse Slip. Um, Mouse Slip is a very really good name, by the way. Whoever thought that up is, is a star. Mouse Slip. Great. Yeah. Oh, it started. Let's have a look at Mouse Slip then. Mouse Slip um, is Patrick Duncan. 
Um, and and I, I have actually known him for years and he always has played 1b3. It's his favorite opening and he's doing it again this game. Um, he's playing against Quiskazer 25. Mm -hmm. um, and so how he's doing, he's getting his knight on to e5 um, and, and, and then pushing his f pawn. Um, he'll, he'll be very, very familiar with these type of positions. This is quite a good one, though, for White. This is this this is a sort of thing White likes. He may even play mm. it, try and get a kingside attack going here. I think he will try and get a kingside attack. Would you go crazy with moves like G four, Peter? Would you Definitely. play it a little bit more quietly? Definitely. I want to play G four, G five, Queen H five, Rook F three, all of that stuff. Oh, you're really going for it, yeah. Definitely. I think, I think that's what Mouse Slip will try and do as well. Uh, and uh, what, what I try and do is at some moment, Black would, with my queen on g5, Black would play g6, and then I would sacrifice my queen with a flourish on h7. And <laughs> hope that there was a checkmate with the bishop on b2, helping a rook come to h8. But... Um, yeah. Let's we'll see if that happens. Let's see if that all happens. Now, Mouse Slip has, it looks like, has played Chris Kayser before. Um, and Chris Kayser won their previous encounter. So Mouse Slip is also going for revenge in this game. Uh, so I, I can I can see why he's setting up an attacking structure. All right, let's have a look at some more players. Uh Oh, let's see. A W. Uh, this is this is Decoder. Decoder has won his first game and is now well playing. Done, Decoder. Yeah, fantastic. And now he's playing. A, has been rewarded by a a a player graded like eight hundred points above himself. So, um, which is 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 definitely a lot of fun to take on on these strong players. Um, and he's playing quite a quiet system um, against a. What would you say, a London system, Peter? Well, it sort of started with a slightly funny move order, and it was briefly a, a normal Queen's Gambit declined. But um, it's uh, it's a fairly quiet position yeah. now. Um, what's yeah. a, what, what is, is this a two-minute game? Oh, it's a three-minute game. No, it's three minutes. Three minutes and two seconds a move. So there, okay. there is an increment. Because um, yesterday, that some of the same players played uh, three minutes without an increment, um, and it got very, very fast. Uh, so there is a two-second increment today, but even so, you still have to watch your time and play pretty fast yeah. at this time control. Well, this is a this is a slightly sneaky move because now Ooh. White can play knight b7, and yes, and that knight, knight on c6 hasn't piece. got enough defenders. Uh, Lost a piece, yes. Yeah, is. I think so because the queen's going to have to move, uh, a piece. and then the knight on c six is going to get taken. But can you somehow can count? Can you do something knight clever? Piece? I don't think I can't see it. No, nothing to be done in this one. Unlucky um, decoder, but hang on in there. Let's have a look. Oh, we're still up at number one. Ah, W Panda. Let's see W Panda. Oh, Panda's not playing right. The second Wood Pusher. Should we check? Um, so Wood Pusher is wow. white in this game against um, Unknownimus. Unknownimus, um, who is a twenty-four fifty-seven player. Um, this looks like it must have started out maybe as a Stonewall Dutch or something like that. Uh, maybe now Wood Pusher normally plays, I think, the English. Uh, oh no, D four, D five. We'll do it. We'll, we'll whiz through very quickly the opening moves. Was it not a Dutch actually? No, it wasn't. And then um, Black moved the knight out of the way in order to get that f pawn moving. Come on. Come on. This is up here. Okay, and that's how we got to this position. So right. um, the G file is open for white. Um, and so white has to be a little bit careful. Um, and black is looking to, I think, looking to double up rooks on the f file. Now, this bishop on um, f3 is also potentially under attack. A little bit loose, right? So can, can, can black already do something like... Um, bishop, uh, not bishop d4 straight away, because they... D4 and you're attacking queen, but, but um, 
it's all a little bit um yeah white might be well advised to just move you. that bishop yeah and he's dropped the bishop back so i think that's a very wise decision um from mike harris there all right um let's have a look at, we'll come back to that one in a moment um and let's see um napal so napal is black in this game and it's already at a rook and pawn ending um so our player has um now that's a very sneaky move yeah that was clever wasn't it because if white takes that pawn you've got a trap because takes 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 and then it would be rook check and picking up the rook which was on d1 at the time um although white 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 didn't fall for it and now um and napples moved back to uh, move the, the rook back now to the d file of course anything can happen in a blitz game but uh this is this is awkward for black it's tricky isn't it because the pawns are mostly the pawn his pawns are a bit weak and his yeah. rooks are a bit uh well yes yeah, so we're trading off oh uh, yeah we can, we'll keep one rock on that's a good idea isn't it and um oh we've got to be careful because if he checks we can't go king up to g5 because there'll be f4 check yeah so it's a tricky ending, I would think, this one for Nat Paul. We're a little bit ahead on the clock, he's, he's, um, but there is that increment. He's suffering. Yeah, all right. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, oh, Mouselet must have lost that game. Um, Howard St. Uh, Oh, sorry. Let's get there. So, okay. So, Howard oh, Est wow. is a uh, so black in this game. Two pawns down, but he's he's got an attack going of some. Yes, he's going to maybe try and bring something in on to um, f two. Yes, right in onto f two. Very interesting position, this one now now you can't really i didn't think you could do that oh maybe but he's done it he has he's done it bishop okay. okay so we could take on e4 i guess oh or could we check on h4 with the queen no because the knight oh no we may be threatening to check on h4 He's defended against that. So I've lost count. What are the pieces? One pawn up. One pawn up for white. Um, but there are a lot of... The, the, the king's not safe yet, I'd say. White's king still needs to find it. I'm worried about black's king as well, actually. That is true. That is true. Yeah, and actually, yeah, now you say it, white has um, brought the queen into c4. Um so if the queen moves out the way now, uh, black does need to be careful not to allow a, like a bishop c4 opening the queen to the king. Yes. I mean, for instance, last move, maybe rook d2 would have been a bit of an awkward move. Oh, yes. But, yeah. But here, I mean, bishop d2 looks... Uh, Do you think white's going to cast him? I have no, I have no idea point. what's happening here, but... Um, yeah. All right. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, it's. So white's exchange queens and then straight away castled long. So, so black has now these two. After all this. It's, Sorry, it's, it's level material after all this, I think. Amazing. It's all just it's all just turned into a normal <laughs> game. Yeah, but still, it, it's sort of still unbalanced, isn't it? Um, because of those those black pawns. Like, could black maybe even go e3? He can. For instance, he could play e3, bishop e1, and then bishop f7, and he'd be winning the pawn on e5. Yes. Now, but 
Oh, okay. So ah, he's going to. He's, he's playing for an attack, but he um, is. I'm not sure how this is how this is going to pan out. Um, Black may be driving White's king to a slightly safer place. I was just thinking that, yeah, because you you might want to be able to line up. Um, Oh, now the rooks are coming off, um, which makes it look a bit more drawish, I'd say. So both sides have a passed e pawn, actually, because the e pawns have kind of switched over. Yes, black, white's e pawn is weaker because it's standing on the same colour square as the bishop. Yeah, and actually Black could just round that up now, couldn't he? Because he could just go, yeah. Yeah, so this is actually, do you say winning for Black? So it's hard to know with Bishop. Oh, no, actually, the white, the black one's going as well, isn't it? But, but here, now this is a sort of position where you don't want it to be your move. And my <laughs> guess is that white is going to run out of moves here. And he'll I end up so losing the game. Now that. Oh, but what about a5 for white? No, that won't well, the work. King is still within the square. Yeah. So that, that's okay. I think black has done this quite uh, quite well. Now he'll play h6. And in a moment, he'll ask white what white's going to move. Yeah. Now he's still in the square. Still in the square. So, we, so in other words, if black plays um, b takes a5. Yeah. And then white tries to queen the pawn. Black's king can get back. Um, and actually, if he takes that pawn, he's still in the square. Ooh. Now he's not in the square. He's not in the square now. So, so, so I think that move b5 was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, unlucky, Howard. I think, yeah, I think if you don't play b5, actually, it's looking, we think it's looking quite good for you. Okay, English chess players are uh, in second at the moment. Um, Very good. Let's check in on Plumpton Red. So Plumpton Red. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, was, that was one of more. That's got more usual. As soon as we check in on our player, they. It's <laughs> well, a bit unfortunate. Plumpton Red. <laughs> um, okay, what about Wilsonia? Let's see. Wilsonia is playing at the moment white. Uh, the game's just started against Matusalan. Um, and uh, so we've got, um, got this pawn on e5 trying to cramp that knight that's just dropped back to e8. Would you say white has has an advantage here, or is it all pretty level? Well, I, I'm a bit worried Ooh. now because actually, oh I'm yes, this is sure. neither of those, neither of those. Yeah. So I I fear always oh, he he nearly managed to wriggle out, but not quite. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Not so quite. That's a piece. We've jinxed Wilsonia too. All righty. Um, let's see. Yeah, so DRS4. So that is um, David Sedgwick. Okay. Come on, David. Come on, David. David's playing white here. And we've got. Um, kind of, pawn down, is he? But. Um, he is a pawn down. Yeah. Oh, actually, look, he's playing, playing someone very strong. Uh, 2400. Mm -hmm. He's a bit unlucky here because. Knight d3 looks like a good trick, but then doesn't white quite black work. Just take it. Yeah. And David's a little bit behind on the clock. He will be happy um, that there's an increment today. Uh, he said he pr much prefers it when you have got the two second increment. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's. Oh, he was doing your trick, Peter. The... He did. He and did. it works, actually. It, it did work. I mean, it didn't work in the the first position because there was a rook on e1 that yeah. was free. But, but it now... did work in this position. Oh, oh no, he's left oh. his rook on there. Oh, I wouldn't have done that, David. Oh, okay, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky David. You were right back in there. Um, okay. 
Okay. How's Decoder doing? Is he still? Let's see if we or? let's see Decoder. Ah, yes, Decoder is playing. Let's just uh, check in on Decoder. Decoder. Oh, right. hang on. Decoder is um, it's white. Oh my goodness, it's looking a Decoder, bit. Decoder, I hope you've got this under control. Uh oh. No. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Decoder's lost. I think we 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 jinx Decoder. Sorry, Decoder. <laughs> um but we'll catch you for the next game um okay so let's see who else we've got what about um bk george uh so bk george is now oh is is trying to hold on for a draw here although and actually, he won't manage it i'm afraid he won't, he won't manage it against super he general won't. no okay, okay um, sorry sorry yeah so let's see uh English chess. Oh, sorry. Let's not do that. Um, let's have a look at. So we're still in second. Um, ah, Ross Rat not playing right this second. Okay, let's look at W Panda. W Panda 2020 is white here. W Panda, I think you need to speed up. Yes. It's, it's a bit. Uh, you're a bit low on time here, but you've got. You're, do you, w Panda you may be berserked because what you can do in these games is um, is berserk, and what it means is you go with half the time and you don't get an increment. Um, so if W Panda berserk, but it, you still have to play really, really fast because you have to get to checkmate um, in this time, and thirty seconds isn't going to. Let's see. Is is W Panda getting an increment actually? Um, Let's see when W Panda moves. No, I think, it, yeah, no, you're right, Peter. It's going to be too slow, I think. Mind you, something quite good happened to his position while we were we were chatting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK. So how's this? Because there will be an E6 at the end, won't there? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be enough. There's E6. He can move his rook. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, mm. I fear for the panda there. <laughs> Come on, panda. Come on, panda. Okay. Let's try chess tree. Chess tree. Now there's an, now chess tree. You're doing yes. well. You're doing chess very tree. well. Come on, chess tree. Here. And pawn up. And look pawn at that up. king. It's got that lovely kind of triangle of pawns around it. So as long as you don't allow double rooks on the eighth and a rook h8 mate or anything like that, it's actually quite a safe king position that's, that chess tree has here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you could take on a2, couldn't you, here, with the rook, because it's defended, yeah. You could, you could. And chess tree has. But he's still going to have some work. His opponent yeah. will play rook a8, and unfortunately that's pawn is a goner. Yes, so we Which are... We should still win, but, uh, yeah, well, no, well done, chess tree. We're quietly confident mm. here. Hmm. Well. Yeah, he's right, I think, to defend that. Yes. He's got to be a little bit careful because rook a8 will, will have a, a sneaky threat of bishop. Oh, a threat of bishop. B. Oh, yes, and he's doing the same threat but in the other order, I think. Idea. But, um, yeah. So maybe rook e8 to just defend that. Yeah, or, or now there's... Now he'll have time to um, to play g5, for instance. He's okay, so the white wants to put the bishop on d5 and say that it's going to be hard for for black yeah. to He's done it. win this, which it will be actually. This will be a lot of work. Mm, good luck, chess tree. All right, we'll have a... It's, it's a lot of work because black doesn't have a pass pawn. And to make a pass pawn into a position like that is uh, you take a lot of manoeuvring. Mm. Okay, we're going to look at Nigel ST. 
which is Nigel Towers, who is the organiser of the um, English team in this event. Um, now, I must um, say, just, just one sort of semi-serious comment, I think the ECF have done absolutely fantastic mm. to organise all these events. I get a, a weekly email from Nigel tempting me to play in, in certain yeah. things. And, and there's so many know, events, aren't there, to choose from? Well, something. well done, sir, for organising it all. Fantastic mm. effort. Um, mm. Now, let's see if we can jinx his game, Peter. Yes, knight g3 right. now. Oh, we have. We, yeah, we you've managed, you've managed, managed it, Natasha. We managed. Sorry, managed. Nigel. Okay, we, uh, sorry about that. That was my. You must be watching it. this stream. <laughs> we'll say how good the events are and <laughs> throw him off his stride. All right. Good luck with the rest of this one. Oh, actually, actually, that's not this bad, is it? Because you can go rook d6, take on c6. It's not that clear. Well, g5 might be quite a good move now. G5. Then you could go rook. Um, Oh, rook f6, maybe? No, it's not so easy at all. Not, not yeah, because look, rook g7, you can take Ooh, the g7. Rook g7, oh, no, well done. Can you, well oh, can done. you take the back on them? More than back in the game. Wait a minute, though. You maybe you can't. Oh, you take the g pawn with the pawn. Otherwise, you're going to lose your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you could take it with. Yeah. If you took it with the bishop, he could go rook takes. Um... E5. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe. All right, so yes, so Nigel's right back well, in it is... So it's like well, the extreme uh, pawn is, is a bit of a nuisance. So um, that is true. Uh, I I slightly fear for for yeah. our, our compatriots here. Yes, actually, I agree. Yeah, doing your best, but. Um, oh, it's looking. <laughs> it is a monster, isn't it? That F pawn. <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. resigned. Hard oh, luck, well, Nigel. Unlucky. Unlucky. Who are you going to jinx next, Natasha? Right. Shall we jinx um uh blue blue cow? We have yes, seen blue cow yet. Yes. Okay. Now this is going to be more difficult to jinx blue blue cow because he's doing very well here. Oh yes. Uh, yes, because look at that. That B pawn is lovely, isn't it? And you could maybe even what, put your bishop up to a5 to um to try and help that get closer to queening yeah, yeah. That, that looks like a good start in fact you can put your bishop on a5 then put it on b6 to guard the f2 pawn yes and then move it away and queen your pawn but um yes He's going to put his bishop on c5, which C5. is... Yes, so he's chosen a different route. Yeah. He's still going to defend that pawn. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Blue cow, you're, you're a star. This is uh, going Unjinxable. very... Unjinxable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Let's have a look um, at... Uh, decoder's doing well. Decoder's on oh, a decoder. Come on. Um, not playing a game right this second. Uh Let's just check in on Will Sonia. So Will Sonia um, is playing Rocky S kicks um, and has played before. Um, he lost the first time he played to Rocky S kicks. So um, so this is for revenge. And Will Sonia has an extra pawn. Mm -hmm. So looking quite promising. So what's still, this is going to this is going to be still quite hard work. Yeah, well, soon he's going to going to get the drive, yes, drive drive that um, queen away. So maybe white would okay. So black's over protecting on the e file. White's going to take the d file. Um, and actually, Rocky S kicks is running a little bit low on time as well. So, you might, what, what would you do here? Would you? I was just looking at um, bishop b4 and c5, yeah. Well, I'm not sure about c5 because that, that just sort of blocks the bishop in a bit more, but maybe. Yeah. 
Maybe yes. Ah, rook like eight. Of exchange exchange a rook, and um, now you'll have full control of the D file. So maybe uh, you need to get white needs to get the queen to a slightly better place. Yeah. So maybe white will put the, the he'll white is going to try and line his queen up with the bishop. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, could do like queen D eight. Maybe he'll just decide now's the moment to get the A pawn. D six. Yeah. 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 Because so, okay. you could just swap everything. Like if you can swap everything off, that must be a good idea. No. Well possibly possibly mm -hmm. possibly i i guess he could do that if he wanted to oh do you think because that um the b pawns backwards that you might not want to swap off well i what is it pawn up i i think you've got to um i i'm not not a hundred percent sure you would win the king and pawn end game you probably would but um it's not it's not an absolute given well we're about to find out well done, Dakota. The Ilolo are dominating. They are. They're very strong. They've, they've been winning the last few times now. Um, we did now win this, one last This week, has made it easy for White, I think. Oh, interesting. Trick, unless there's a trick. Now, be very, very careful here. I think, yes. I think you're all right. Ooh, I think, think okay. okay. But don't play G3 or anything. I know you won't. <laughs> so we, but do we have to bring our king back? We're okay, aren't we? Because because black can't get in. B4. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. So if if black takes on passant. So black black oh, will take just... on passant. Then he'll play H3. And then on pawn takes pawn, he'll play king F3. And then I think it will be. Ooh. So King G3. So it's a race. But this one is, is good for white because we've got to check. We've got to check, yeah. Because now we can just take we can take on B3 and we're fine, right? Yes. We're just good. Yes, but you you're you've got other ways to do this as well. You don't. Yeah. You can do check, 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 bring your put your queen on f2 white will have a black will have to play b2 it won't be stalemate yeah and then you'll go queen f1 and that will be mate which is what he's doing here so king yeah. h1 queen f2 b2 yeah. queen f1 mate nicely played well sonia well done well done well done, well well done. done. okay let's see um who is playing now Checking, oh, the Dakota is really on a streak here. Dakota's up to 10. Um, Ross Rat, let's check in on Ross Rat. Uh, Ross Rat is white here. Tenth in the wow, whole tournament. Dakota beats the 2100. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. And Ross, uh, Ross Rat has just piled well. in there. Well done, Ross Rat. That well was, done, Ross Rat. That looked like a, a cool combination. Let's see. Um, ah, okay. Decoder's just about to start playing against I am Manny Sen. Okay. So, our player, um, outrated by over a thousand points. Um, and not uh, to worry. Not just, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Exactly. You just beat a 2100. Um, and, uh, and your opponent has berserked. So, um, so just stay in the game. Always stay in the game because uh, they need to play very, very fast. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit tricky. That knight's um, trying to come in on c7. But you could probably go, what, is queen d6 okay? Well, now bishop f4 is... Bishop f4 is scary, yes. Yep, that is true. Um so it's looking tricky, uh, but again, just just keep on, yeah, keep on and see what you can do, decoder. Um, sometimes when your opponent's berserked, bizarrely, it's it's better to try and swap off queens and go into an end game, and because uh, it's hard to win those in the time sometimes. 
Well, just keep right. moving things and see if something good happens. See what happens, yeah. Okay. I, I rather fear for you, uh, Dakota. Yeah, yeah, it was a we tricky one. You. Um, okay, let's see Woodpusher. Uh, Woodpusher is our uh, lead scoring player at the moment. Um, it's Michael and Harris. It's a bishop up. Bishop up and a head on the clock. Um, what, could be, what could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> what Nothing. could go wrong here? Nothing. Could what wrong. could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing can go wrong, exactly. Nothing can go wrong. I don't think anything yeah. can go wrong. No. Can swap that, yeah. Can we keep a pawn? We can keep a pawn. So rook behind the pawn. Yes, um, here we go. And just push it. Here we go. Yeah. Nice technique, wood pusher. Very good. Uh, okay. so, and wood pusher is fifth in the tournament. He's just paused. Ross Rat is eighth. Uh, so we're right up there. Um, Ilolo, well, Ilolo's top player. We'll just have a check in on Ilolo's top player as well. That's um, Romo Ganson, uh, 2600 player. Um, who is leading the tournament at the moment. Um, and he's black in this game um, against Matthias. And, uh, yeah. Um, and black's a pawn up here. Uh, so Romo's been regularly playing in these, in these matches and scoring very, very highly. Okay. Um, let's shall we have a check in just a quick check in on the other tournament as well? Yes, yes, go for it. Okay. In let's check in on the Grand Prix and see where we are with that. Uh, okay, okay, so, um, oh my goodness, Frankie GM, who is the eight year old who played for our team yesterday, is um is in first place with four and a half out of five, uh, tied first at the moment with uh, Chris Davison, uh, Keith Arkell, who's Atomrod, and Cameron Conn. Let's see if, is Frankie playing? No, but Chris Davison is still playing. So let's have a look at Chris's game. Um, oh, that's a different game. He's, that's, a, that's a correspondence game. Okay, uh, so there's 13 ongoing games. Um, I don't know if I can, just click so I just see the ongoing games. This one here, this one is happening. So this is David Walker against Rex Dimid. Um, and so uh, Rex is white in this position. Um, exchange up for pawn. Um, and this bishop's just coming in and, and trying to harass f2 a bit. Uh, Rex has very little time left, though. I'm not quite sure how. Uh, yeah, it's a 10 minute game. So. Uh, we're, we're switching between um, a three-minute tournament and a ten-minute mm. tournament. Um, so David still has. There's an play. increment, though, isn't there? So he's he'll be okay here. There's an increment of um, five five seconds actually. In he this should, he should be he should be okay here. Yeah. Do you think it should be a win here for, for, for them? Well, White? it's. Uh, White has to decide whether he's trying to exchange the queens or not. Uh, or yeah. Trying to improve his position a bit before doing that. Um, would you try and exchange queens, do you think? Oh, look, then well, it's the real question now, isn't it? I think I would. And yeah. he has. And so then both sides bringing their kings right in. As well now, as they can. It may be. I mean, white white does need to get the B pawn to um, to make to make progress. Otherwise, I think it'll be a fortress. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is quite likely. This will this will actually end a draw. Well, I'm I'm. I'm, I'm not sure black should be moving those pawns quite as enthusiastically as he did. <laughs> I, 
it, it um because now he now he has uh now he has a week. Who would you go with your king? Would you drop back to e2? That's what I was gonna do, yeah. So now it'll be king g3 rook rook somewhere. He's it's probably okay, isn't it? For, for... Mm. So um Okay, he's not going to try. He's drawn. Yeah. Okay, five ongoing games only. Um, we, let's have a look at one more. Uh, Dangerous Kid against Latvian Dusman. Oh, this is a complicated one. Um, oh, but black is lots of material up, actually. Yes, he's even more now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so that one's fairly clear. Um, and a couple more down here. Uh, let's have a look at Mighty Knight against Shisha 25. Uh, so Shisha is white, Mighty Knight is black, and it's another one with a, an exchange difference. Of yes, exchange. But this, one, this one isn't difficult because... No. Black oh, it's, uh, black's got the extra one as well. So. Yeah, this should be a win for black. I think uh, that one won't be. Won't trouble okay. us too. All right, uh, let's have a look now again at the teams match. Okay. And then we can check in on this one again when the next round starts. Oh, I can hear your cat. Yeah, it's it's nearly supper time, so he's reminding me of my responsibilities, but he can wait for a bit. Yes. Come on, come and join us. Come on, come on, you can come up and, and do chess. Come on. Come on, do some chess. Yes. Black and okay, white so Nicoda is playing high knee chess. Come on. Um, and so we're white in this game. Um, and oh, black can. It has got it now. You've got to be careful here because if g3, you've got this normal trick with um, queen e4 check. Yeah, he's looking, I think he's looking pretty good for black. Well, I'm not sure because, okay. um, not, I'm not sure because knight f3 and knight c3 will come and the queen will get kicked around a bit yeah yeah, yeah. worse positions yeah so, uh, come on decoder so black has chosen to take off this pawn so um, knight f3 um, defend your pawn three to defend not Maybe sure one order for those way, but, uh, yeah. So bishop e3 and knight b5 to follow, but bishop e3, knight yeah, bishop e3, so. black's got knight c2, which could be a pain. Yes, that's that's bad news as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, good luck there, decoder. Okay. Um okay let's see ah let's see square taker square takers just um just entered and uh oh actually not is that uh which is tom um and uh, so tom villiers uh, i don't know if you know tom villiers peter but he i um, do i do an excellent player yes i've played him many times oh and how would you how would you describe his style we were following some um, of his games at the British. An individual. An individual, yeah. He's, he's, his other name on, on one of the other sites is Hack Attack. And we thought that summed yes, it up. Yes, I think that's well. fair. That's <laughs> fair. So he's got the um, extra exchange here. Uh, it's a theme of the day, really. Um, but Black cannot take that B pawn because the bishop will be on. But that B pawn is going to be a winner now. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fearsome, isn't it? it? Can even take the bishop. Look at that. He's just he's, that. he's simply done it. Yeah. Now get in the square. The square. Yay. Well done. Nice. Well done, well square done. taker. Fantastic. Well 
Okay. Um, who else? Let's 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 see mouse slip. So mouse slip uh, is black here, um, and it looks like he's done. Well, he plays b3 with white, and it looks like he also plays b6 with black. Mm -hmm. um, queen shuttles his his queen's bishop. Uh, he's got his he's he's got to notice his queen's on freeze, which of course he will. He's just lining up on that um, long diagonal. Um, yes, yes. And so he hasn't played moves this time like um, like when he's white, he plays f4 and gets his knight mm. into e5. So he hasn't yet done anything like f5 and knight round to e4. Do you think he'll, he'll try that sort of thing here? Well, he, he, he might. He doesn't really have any any needs to do anything no. spectacular here because white black white isn't doing anything as as far as i can see so. yeah because white's done a recapture kind of you know like on on g3 you might mm. normally play um h takes g3 and white's actually gone um f takes g3 to what well, in a minute white will pro probably play well i was going to say he might play rook f2 to try and double but uh well now that's that's a slightly double-edged decision because now white can play c4 and d5 uh yeah blocking and block out the, bishop. the bishop out of the game if he yeah is so inclined and he hasn't done it so that's he didn't do that that's that's, that's probably mouse slip will be pleased i should think yeah, because actually he's gone d5 now, but the bishop is now outside that pawn chain, which is... Yes, I suspect that makes better. makes a bit of a difference. Yeah, I think so. For instance, too. here he, he could play um, f5 and take a lot of... I was thinking he might go f5, I have to say. Yeah, he's doing a different way. He's bringing his knight round, isn't he? Yeah. He's still got a, a, a jolly nice position, but um, it's going to be hard for him to, to break up the white position because yeah. there's still all these pawns left on the board and um, there's no, no action for the black rooks yet. So black is going to have to somehow try and open the position. It's not so easy for, for him, but uh, I'd rather be black, but it's not um, Yes, not, strong not, not much. Strong. You have to do well to win it. Um, he is ahead on the clock as well, which is mm -hmm. which is good. Um, one thing I wanted to remind everyone was about the um, charity event that the ECF are running on um, June the fifth and sixth, um, and and, and uh, Peter and I are practicing our commentary in advance of that event. Uh, so so please, uh, if you are free on that day, please do join in the tournament. Twenty four hours of chess. Um, what more could anybody want? Play all through the night and then keep playing the next day as well. Um, and do follow us on this channel. We will be uh, doing commentary. Um, a whole range of players will be doing commentary on this channel. So please do follow us there. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Have here? you decided to give me the six o'clock on Sunday morning slot? It, it, it's it's there for you if you want it. <laughs> six o'clock on Sunday morning is 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 actually not taken yet. Um, well, then we, we maybe have a player already for seven. <laughs> <laughs> but you could maybe partner with them as well. <laughs> we will see how it goes. I don't um, mind. You might be partnering Terry. I think if if you well, oh, actually have this conversation good. right on the air. Good. Um, um and and so but he probably prefers the daylight hours then <laughs> uh, um yeah okay so we have nat paul here um playing white against chino mario and uh, and putting a bit of pressure now on that pawn on um e6 oh hang on but one thing is that black's pawn up yeah and he's just intending to move his king to f7 to um shore it all up and then he'll put his rook on b8 oh still still king f7 yeah
Okay, so, so Black's trying to create this kind of wall of pawns in the center of the board to, to try and push through what the D pawn and the C pawn and and uh, f8 and I yeah forces the bishop back. yes because white has threat here of bishop g6 um so black's avoided losing also, the exchange yeah also a good move okay let's have a look mm -hmm. yeah well mm -hmm. okay so England are still in second place, are they? Yes. yes. England, but it's very close actually between England and Club Filoni Chess. Um, and these two clubs, um, England and Club Filoni Chess, often are actually very close. Um, Ilolo Friendly Chess is 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 way out ahead, um, but we are ahead of of the other like thirty four teams. Now I see Ocelot thirty two has joined the tournament. Let's check in on Ocelot. Um, Ocelot is playing white here. Ocelot seems to be several pieces ahead here. So Oh, well, Ocelot, yes, Ocelot is doing absolutely fine in this game. Okay. Good for you, Ocelot. Well played there. Okay. Um, right. Uh, blue, blue cow. Let's check in on blue, blue cow again. Um, uh, white in this position and a, a pin there. On, so he um, can, um, he's got to be careful because he can't go rook f7 yet. Oh, yes, because that rook can, rook um, b1 <laughs> is hanging. But uh, maybe king g2 would be a clever, clever starting move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because then that's lining up, taking on f7, if and the rook we catch. Yeah, that does a similar a sort of move thing. Two. Yeah. Rook b5. Very steady. Yeah. This looks pretty good for white to me. Okay, black's going for counterplay with um, d3 here. Takes, takes. And what, could white then go... Um, well, I think I think White has just has just won here just because he can take rook, yeah. rook. and now there'll be a queen f5, g6, queen f7, mate. Just as well because Black's coming into. Uh... Well, actually, it isn't quite mate, is it? But uh, no, because it be, uh... it's mate if you start rook f7, a uh, rook b7, because the queen uh, the queen on a1 can can yeah, interpose. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah, is yeah. this is all over. Yes. Okay. Well done, blue, blue cow. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, actually, I'm just going to quickly click on blue, blue cow and see. I'm not sure who blue, blue cow is. doesn't say. Because sometimes they say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all righty. Let's see. Actually, let's see the other tournament and um, and see if they've started the next round yet. I think they probably will have. So the other tournament we're looking at is the Grand Prix Rapid. Um, and let's have a quick check there. Um, and 51 ongoing games. Um, at the top, Frankie GM, let's see, is playing uh, Rex Dimid. So Frankie is white here. Um, and um, so how how's this? Let's just see how this started off. I'm just going to quickly whiz through the first few moves. Oh, it's a Trompovsky. Mm -hmm. A favourite of uh, Julian Hodgson. He used to always play the tromp, and lots of the English players followed in his footsteps. Uh, like I think Mickey Adams has played it. Okay, and and it is Black's go. Yes, uh, Frankie James just played uh, Queen to E one. Mm -hmm. um, I guess not minding swapping off that um, 
bishop on g3 for a knight? No, because, um, in fact, it, it's funny, both players seem to be encouraging some some trades of the minor pieces. Um, may, maybe... Uh, Hmm. Well, I wonder why I wonder why he played Queen E one if he wanted to capture that way, but maybe. Yeah, is he? Maybe that's a, still a good idea. Now, um, Black needs to get something with his um, get some action for his light squared bishop. So maybe, maybe B six. Ah, uh, yeah, you can put it out that way. Yeah, what's, what's I think I think a slightly slow manoeuvring game might might be in prospect. Mm. So I'm just wondering about that knight on h3, whether you need to do anything with that or. Well, it, it can sit nicely on f f2, and that guards the four square, which is is going to be useful. Mm. Um. I think I'd slightly prefer to be black here, but... Um... Hi, Will, Sonia, how are you doing? We were checking in on your game just a little while ago. We're following two tournaments at the moment. So so the one you're playing in the team match and also this uh, Grand Prix Rapid, which is going on at the same time. So we're uh, looking at both at the moment. All right, I'm going to have, uh, have a look at some another... Let's see if Keith's... But yeah, Keith. Um, so Keith Arkell against Cameron Conn, um, and Keith is white here in this position. Um, this is such a typical Keith Arkell position, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he plays he plays these positions just beautifully. So, um, and is he already winning a pawn? He's probably winning the pawn on c five, isn't he? So, are you thinking of? To, um, okay, knight so rook, rook, uh, so rook c1, maybe rook, maybe. D, rook, rook d1, maybe. I mean, the, yeah. it's not possible to defend this um, pawn on c5, so yeah, um, yeah. So, knight comes out to b4. So, black is now um, eyeing that pawn on a2. So what do you say? Maybe we take off. Okay, so maybe I could, maybe this requires a bit more, a bit more thinking here. Oh, he has taken on c five. That's because what you're if, thinking. If yeah? knight a two, then. Um, oh, I see. Just rook a one and the knight. Well, doesn't... knight a two, then rook a rook a one, then you can take on c five, and you'll get a square for your. Got a choice of knights to take now. You can do it. You can do it this way around as well. But, um, yeah. So actually, white will emerge a pawn up if if we take on. Um... Well, he he will, but um, the pawn on b two will end up being a little bit vulnerable as well. So this isn't. Um, this isn't a gimme for Keith yet. Yeah. Yeah. You can see he's the more familiar with the position though, because he's well ahead on the on the clock. He does understand these type of positions so well. Um and he's got pressure now on this um pawn on B seven as well. I mean he probably after after knight A two, he will probably just go rook D one. Uh, oh, checkmate to hi checkmate a lot checkmate a lot is, is peter finn um and we're saying if knight a2 then knight d7 oh it didn't work <laughs> he said <laughs> so now well, we might just go uh, ahead that's, we might that's just go three, right? i think i think now after a3 this is um yeah clear pawn now yeah all over by the shouting all righty let's have a look at some more things um so, uh, what about Chris Davison? 
So Chris Davidson is um, is actually an ex Barbican colleague of ours, isn't he, Peter? He he used to play in the Barbican yeah, for NCL. Yeah. I don't know if that was before your time or. I think it was before my time. Maybe before your time. I think we've played. I'm sure we've played actually. Yeah, um, and against uh, David Walker, and uh, so Chris is black, David's white, um, and Chris is just bringing his knight in onto d5. Um, so equal on material, it's another of these knight against bishop type games. Queens are off. Um, so this is an interesting position. Who would you rather yeah. be here? One, two, three, four. So it's level material. I i i actually think i might prefer white mm. um because the i think the c pawn is a little bit backward yeah um and the knight isn't completely secure there where it is yes yeah, so if you if you imagine white putting his rook on c5 and then maneuvering his bishop to yeah. b3 for instance it doesn't look quite so um solid for black so yeah. maybe, maybe there's something maybe there's something clever and tactical that, that black can do here and, but uh, against the king are you thinking or well uh, i'm just thinking can i can i do something i i think if i think if, if I slot. slowly then it may it may this position will slowly turn to white's advantage but um, yeah if black has something clever well, it's going to have to be very clever isn't it <laughs> yeah all righty so a, a, okay. a, a tricky strategical one here okay let's see what else we've got um when's called jam just finished the game so it's, it's on Five out of six. Uh, that that's this is the last round actually, I think, of um okay. this tournament. Uh let's see. Fide Master Real Baggy. I'm not sure who that is. I'm just gonna click on him. Chris Gant. Ah, okay, I know Chris. Do you know Chris Gant? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Um and so um He's winning is, rather smoothly. Yes, extra knight. That's gotta help. Should should be should do should, should do should be do. Yeah. Um. Okay. And let me look. Um. Let me look the mate has finished. Uh, let's see Harry Grieve. Um. So Harry Grieve is white here against a mariner two three five. Um, and and it's it a like nice rookie. Oh, overwhelming position here, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really nice position. Um, so. Because it's going to be hard for black to keep defending, like the weak pawns on um, e6 and c6. Um, yeah, and that knight doesn't have any squares at the moment. The knight on. That's not going yeah. to be fun, that position. But, yeah, um, tough defensive ask for Mariner 235. Uh, let's have a look um, at Barcelonski. Okay, uh, so this is Barcelonski against EDJ Chess. Um, oh, this one's an interesting one, isn't it? It's one. Yeah. Knight in on f6, big outpost there. So it's a huge, huge knight, but White's other pieces aren't playing yet, and there's some danger. Yeah, what's the happening with these pawns there. coming down the queen side? So, I suppose if you push one, they, they White will block with the other, right? Yes, it's going to need some sort of cheeky sacrifice to. Um, what would you sacrifice here, Peter? Well, I, I might. Um, I, I I might start if I was black. I, if I if I can, I want to start with knight e six, and sort of bring the knight a little bit uh, 
closer and then one day I might I, I'll leave the pawns where they are for the moment and I'll be looking for a chance to to sacrifice to get in in somehow maybe yeah. maybe even c5 at some uh, c5 just c5. opening up the position maybe but maybe only c5 will be met by d5 but if somehow we can mm -hmm. make um yeah make that uh all right so an unclear position there okay i'm gonna now switch back uh to the team storm and let's see how england are doing there so uh we are still in second um behind ilolo friendly chess but we've built up a little bit of a lead ahead of club feloni chess which is very nice um Okay, uh, Woodpusher is on a streak. Uh, let's see Napal. Napal is playing Anonymous. Um, this looks like some kind of crazy Dutch Staunton Gambit type thing. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just show the moves from the beginning because we're very close to the start. Okay. Um, so D4, C5, D5, F5. Um, what did John Lovett used to call this thing the Clarendon Court, didn't he, with C5 yes. and F5? Yes. Um, E4, yes, you're absolutely right, Gambit. Queen H5. Do you know the theory on this, Peter? No. Nor me. No. But I'm not sure I like particularly what White's done because his queen is just going to be kicked around a bit now. Well, let's see, because um, White could do some of these uh, things like a bishop h6 type. Maybe, maybe. So whose go is it? It's Black's go. Black to play. So White's just so played. Rook b8 uh, would be a healthy move to start off with, I think. Rook b8. Yes, he's played it. Now, yes. Now, this is awkward because now e3 is maybe coming. Well, Sonia's saying, great to see the youngsters coming through, ready to do some damage. I, I think this is a, it's a good point, isn't it? Because there's been um, a lot of juniors playing a lot of chess during lockdown, which is really great to see. And um, and it will be interesting to see when everyone comes back, uh, just 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 how everybody does. And uh, There are going to be some juniors who will have improved enormously. Yeah, so if you're if you're counting your rating points, you've got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Now maybe maybe black will even here play e3. Okay. E3, bishop takes e3, rook g4, for example, trapping the queen. Ah, oh, okay, well something else. Knight g4. Opening up the line of that bishop. And, but um, he's after the queen, really, I think, somehow. Yeah. Yes. So, for instance, what, bishop, h bishop h6. Does that do the trick? No, because there's going to be a square on on the h file somewhere, but it looks dangerous. I mean, oh. yeah, yeah. So bishop maybe h6, bishop, maybe h4. bishop h6 and e3, for instance. Gone bishop d4. So he's looking at f2 as well, isn't he? Yeah, but so can he take on e4? He's done it. He has taken on e4. Rook f5, so black's. Uh, well, there's a knight on three yeah. now. Oh. <laughs> it may not matter. It may not matter because then rook f2. Would you then go, what, uh, rook, rook f2, f2 afterwards? I mean, he played that very quickly, so we'll have to assume this is a brilliant combination. Either that or he's a very lucky boy. Yeah. So. So queen g4, what would you queen do? Queen g4, rook f2. Rook f2, rook f2 yeah. I'm okay. not sure if it was working or not. So now Paul's come back the other way um, to queen d2. And Anonymous is still lining up on that f pawn. So there's one, two, three. There's thousands of pieces attacking f2. Yes. So. Thousands defending as well. So, so there's four attacking, four defending. Is that... Is my counting correct here? Probably. Yeah, so he's dropped back. He can't take it then. You kind of think white might 
Um, move that knight out the way and um, go for c3, trying to pick up the bishop. Now, how about... Uh, oh, well, maybe not. White is desperately trying to swap these queens off. Yeah. So if you do, and then uh, black could take on b2. Well done. Well done. But this is uh, this is still complicated, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe yes. rook b4 here is a good move. Because if we took on if uh, black took on c2, we've got um, rook b8 check, which is actually threatening mate. Because king f7, rook f8. Yeah. But this is a good answer, isn't it? I think rook b4. Mm. Probably. Gosh, okay. it's complicated. Yeah. Say two. And this is all at three minutes plus two. All right, I'm going to check another game. Okay. Uh, he's gone. He's gone for this fork. Um, okay. Let's see how Square Take is getting on. Uh, so on the long route to get to his game. Um, Square Taker against De Profundis. So he is the exchange down. He's got a fantastic knight yeah. on b5, but is that going to be enough? Mm. I doubt it. Oh, right. This is hack attack, of course. Um, okay. So oh, what oh, is this is uh, this is Tom. At, this um, is Tom. Yes, this is yeah. Tom. Okay. Um, well. Tom, you're going to need something quite imaginative here. Is there anything in 97? He's done it. He has done it. Okay, let's have a little think here before. Take on G6. He's going to try and do some uncovered checks. So is that rook on a page? He's a tricky guy, isn't he? Of course he's a tricky guy he certainly is he in his profile he was saying things like he was trying to play more positionally um, oh, don't believe his profile no 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 and then he's gone back now he's gone back to his attacking style which i think suits him very nicely so now what's he trying here he's he's, he's trying to line up the king and the queen being a knight's move apart that's for sure <laughs> yeah because if the queen takes you could maybe take on d6 certainly 95 or some kind of thing like that yeah. Okay, and he's taking this rook now. Queen h6. Now, is this mate? Has he has he pulled this one off? Looks very possibly like he has. He's got a not allow rook mate. Seven. Oh look, this is lawnmower. And it is. Is it exactly mate? So king d7. What do we do? Uh, in there, yes. Yes, I think I think it is. I think it is. Now king d five. Some good queen. Ah, b four. Yes, because he wants. Um, he wants queen e four, but it's not mate. It's not mate. He's only got six seconds left. Not mate. King e3, maybe. Come on, Tom. Oh, Black's escaped. No. He's escaped. What a scandal. <laughs> well, actually, it's not a scandal, is it? It's... It is. It's a scandal. Okay, so. Oops. Oh, unlucky, Tom. Bad luck. Bad luck. Okay, let's uh, check in on Conrad Allison, who is black in this game. Um, and we see is advancing both of his F pawns. So this is like a King's Indian position. Yep. Yes. Oh, I quite like it for black, I think. You like it for black. Yes. I like this sort of thing, yeah. You, you. Well, the great That's thing with the Kings Indian, there's there's something for Black to do. He just 
lines up against the White King and sees what happens. But, yeah, that's just, so it's just a nice. good opening for, for. I mean, it's a good opening, full stop. But it's a particularly good opening for Blitz. Yeah. Now I think if I was black, I might start off with H six here just to decoders. Yeah. Yeah. Rating has gone up to above 1500. Congratulations. Well done, Dakota. All right, and these pawns are going to come forwards G5 and G4. And mm. yeah. In this position, White is really missing his dark squared bishop because all the dark squares are going to be weak here. Yeah and i'm not sure that there's any sufficient action going on on the queen side for white so i, I rather suspect this is going to be trouble for for white okay now white black needs to get the queen doing something yeah how would you do it queen e8 maybe and come around that way yes oh but d6 is weak look yes this this i'm i'm not quite sure i'd have done it i mean may, this may still be good but um, f3 is that question now he's got to work all this out because knight b7 yeah. is a move here oh it's complicated so knight oh because knight b7 what if you go queen d5 can you do that would you get pinned horribly or something Ooh. queen d5 threatens mate yes you can you'll maybe have to go queen uh, queen b3 then Queen b3, yeah, and then you have to swap. So, but then bishop g2 is... Uh... Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that way. So we have to take on b7, uh, I would imagine. Yes, and then bishop c4. So this is all nonsense, really. Oh. So unless there's a great trick here. So how can we make a trick? Conrad, we need a trick. We need a trick here. F3. Okay, well, that's probably probably a good start. All right. Now, we can't take bishop takes knight because of bishop h7 picking up our queen. You can't, unfortunately, attack the h3 pawn with anything, so... Yeah. So this is oh, looking very tricky yeah. right he's done this exchange now and um yeah Ooh, i think well, be careful yes 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 not so i was about to say white's just a piece up is that a well i think that's probably true actually but it's a little bit um tricky i think i think though white is just a piece up yeah all righty let's i'm gonna check okay. some unlucky unlucky yeah. the king's indian didn't quite do it there no okay let's see wood pusher wood pusher is a uh, white in this king and pawn ending now against i am many sen so um, this is a sort of end game where you just have to calculate it but I suspect oh, White's resigned. that the outside pass pawn was going to do it. Do the job, yes. But, Unlucky yeah. would push her. Yep. No, I think that's fair enough. Okay. And let's see. Oh, we've got lots of players. Right, let's let's check. Keith Keith's joined, finished his other tournament, and he's joined here. So let's see how Keith's doing. Now he must have decided to go berserk because otherwise I've never. He seen will have sure. berserk. He, he does berserk in this time. Yes. So he's only got eighteen seconds to deliver mate. Um, but that's pr plenty, I think. Is it? Is it? I think it's hard. These these. Uh, well. These berserks. Oh, look at these two pawns coming in as well. So. Four seconds left. Now make the queen, a queen the first, so that's help. seven. So that's well done. Well played, Keith. Fantastic. Okay. Not well, a let's... moment too soon. No, ten seconds left. Okay, who else have we got? 
let's see um, uh, De Dringolard, uh, who is black in this game. Um, now, this looks like a lovely position for black. Yes, it does, doesn't and it? He isn't, pieces he, he isn't even a piece down. I thought he was a piece down for a moment, but he isn't. So Even better. Yeah, equal material, but very nice for the black pieces here. Because that the bishop on f1 isn't out, and um, and uh, black's king's uh, white's king's not safe yet. So what's h3 all about? Well, I don't know. It's a jolly good question. Mm. But here, for instance, uh, I I guess you could start with rook d8 and yeah rook a8 or rook a8 yeah yeah good idea yeah and it looks it you know it really looks like um black's playing with extra material doesn't it because uh, well he is because there's a there are three or four white pieces that aren't playing at all yeah and um, yeah and in that sort of position you can um exchange off the active pieces and and, and then try and make your extra activity count. So let's see. This is what he's doing. Uh, oh, and look at these pawns coming in. This is mate here. Yeah. Now, e uh, c3 check. C3 looks huge. See, it, the, the, the oh, well, d3 is huge now. Yeah, this yeah is well done, De Gringolard. Well done. All right. Let's we'll give you that. Finish that one off. Gringolade. Okay. All right, Keith, still on the street. Let's 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 see again. Um, so we are black in this game. Um, White's doing a a slow opening with the um, ah building up to e4. And Keith's getting the h pawn in straight away. Will he? Uh, so he's just taking all the space. Yeah, and now he's going to maneuver his bishop to e7 and put it on g5. And oh no, he's there's no need. Yeah, he's just swapping. Yet, yeah, but he's doing this maneuver now that you suggest, Peter. G5. He's bringing it round. Pawns defended. He doesn't mind swapping off the white square bishop. He wants to uh, get his dark square bishop in there. So he just wants to put the bishop on e3, after which it will be... Oh, right. Just, yes, Checkmate Slot's updating us on the results of the Grand Prix. Um, Keith, Dave Walker and Frankie Badescogni all got five and a half out of six, with David Walker winning on tiebreak. So well played to him. Congratulations. Well played to all of them, in fact. Are you tempted to play in the Grand Prix at all, Peter? Um, so it out. There's a there's a sort of there's a rapid one and a blitz one, and it's every month. There's a um, kind of. A, I, I, should, I should do it. I, I must. I play. must confess, I'm just missing over the board chess so much. Yeah, yeah. I've played a little bit of of online chess. Well done, Keith. And it is so not the same that um, uh, I. Uh, yeah. I, I think I, I I am going to play in the four NCL Congress. Yeah, it's been announced for early July, and I hope everyone who's enjoyed online chess so much will also play over the board because if that happens, yeah. it I is think. it's going yes, to it might it might open up that we play over the board chess as we always did, and also play more online chess. Yeah. Yeah, and it's great because, I mean, uh, clearly a lot of people are getting a huge amount of pleasure from mm. online chess. It also, the organisers have done such a good job in mm. doing all these events. They must now know how to set up a new events very quickly and easily. So, uh, you know, I, I'm expecting to see online events becoming really part of the landscape of, of English yeah. chess. 
I'm just not sure personally I want to play in any, but um, maybe I'll no, check. No, but that's the thing, because there's different people like different stuff, and that's and that's really nice, having that choice. Yeah. We're looking now at Danny Rosenbaum Della Corta. He's Della Corta, um, who actually has been helping organise a lot of ECF stuff. Yeah. Uh, he's been really busy. Um, he is playing black here, and... Um, He's uh, doing jolly well. Coming so. in onto H3 looks like the plan here. So, he so White White will probably play Bishop F1 here in a yes. attempt to grimly hold on. Ah, he's doing a different okay. way. He's gone Rook okay. H1. Um, so if Black does exchange, then then the King can recapture and the H pawns defended. So what can Black do? Maybe bring in another Rook. He's got plenty of Rooks in there already, but yes. he can. The other rook is um, is not playing yet, but he's he's trying to play uh, his rook to g6. But um... g6 looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, and now he can take on g2, which is going to be a bit uh, take on g2 and that then take on h. End up being unpleasant. Maybe maybe not immediately, but at some. At some moment, that's going to be a jolly good move. <laughs> Decoder, in preparation for over the board, has turned off the green dots for what all the legal moves are. Oh. Yeah, you won't get those in over the board, Decoder. You'll have to know all the legal moves. Okay. Tell the court is doing it another way. Now. Although, can you still pick up this H pawn? Oh, he's going G pawn. Yes, all right, all right. That makes sense. So this is looking pretty good, I would say, for black. 22 seconds left, though. Yes, it is looking pretty good, isn't it? So now e7. Oh, you can just stop it with the king, I suppose. King f7 stops that pawn. Yeah. Got to be a little bit careful here. There's a rook g1 and a. Yeah. There's some. There's some possible nonsense here. Probably king f7 is still good, but. Be Ooh, three seconds careful. left. Come on. Little Come on, careful. Danny. No, that's not, that's not, um, that's a shame. Now, we didn't mean to do that. No, we didn't mean to do that. No, G8. Oh, G8. Unlucky. Uh, that all turned round. Yeah, that was looking really nice. Uh, okay, who else have we got? Um, what about... I'm trying to find someone's. Ah, thirty-three the players in the team. The Harry the BK. Actually, that Harry Jim isn't eight years old. That I was getting that wrong and uh, earlier. But Harry the BK is, um, and uh, eight years old. Well, he's playing fantastically. Yeah. Two thousand fifteen. Wow. If I'm if I'm getting this right, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right here. My memory's terrible. Like from it was only yesterday I was told this thing. I, um, I, I do think that Harry the BK is eight years old. Oh, 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 oh Harry, Harry the BK. Obviously. Well, obviously we've jinxed him. That's always going to happen. A bit of a bit of a blow, but you'll battle on, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, Harry is eight, says the decoder. Yep, it's all true. Okay, so this. Uh, Queen is not escaping, I think. No, I don't think it is. No. Okay, well, let's let's stop drinking, Harry, and hope you can save that one. Um, hello, cat. What's your cat called? The cat's called Spidey. Come on, Spidey. Come on. Let's get you introduced. Come on. If you come and say hello to everyone, then you Hi, can. Hi, Spidey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can come up here. Come on. Let's see, plumped and red. Uh, oh no! Let's 
that's actually that's not happening right now. There we are. There we are. Let's see. Atom rod. Okay, so Keith is white in this position. Um, and how did this one? Do you want to see just quickly from the start? Mm -hmm. So Keith's. Ah, Keith's been shattering this time. Here we go. Keith's berserked. Um, and uh, so it's, it's actually looking like he's building up a kingside attack for this one. So not quite his usual style with the sort of positional play on the queen side, although his rook is on the open C file and uh, and black is going to have to watch that C pawn forever. And in fact, now Keith's got even a choice of where to double up those rooks. Um, you can't take on pass on here, I think, because of the bishop on e6. Um, although it might be fun to try and take on b7 as well. And then Keith pushes a point up to that. Fixing everything. And fixing it all. Moment, yeah. He will go g4, g5, and then advances h pawn, but he'll. Okay, so black is alive to that. So they kind of mirrored these um, pawn structures like g6, h5, and g3, h4. Um, and I guess Keith will go with the f pawn, yeah. And. But here, yes. whoever has the attack has effectively got an extra piece because the bishop on g7, the, the fact the bishops run on opposite colours here, this is a big mm. advantage for white. It's good for the attacker, and, and, and it's definitely yeah. Keith that's so attacking, I would say. H5 yeah. is on pre, bishop f7 is about to come, maybe. And the bishop on g7 looks like a good piece, but it actually isn't doing anything. So um, this, is, uh, this is a serious problem for black. Yeah, so can white finish it off in yes, first I mean, seven this is seconds? Just mates now, so yeah. six is mate. Finish it off in five seconds, maybe. Easily. Yeah, off well played, uh, Atomrod. Okay, let's see. We're still in second place. Um, Ilolo is, is, is running away with it, but we mm -hmm. are ahead of the other 33 teams. Uh, so let's see. Um, should we check square taker again? So uh, this is Tom. He, oh, he is saying he's nine. He's a queen up. He's a queen up. We don't need to check. We will, all we could do is jinx you, Tom. So we won't we won't look any further. But this is looking lovely. Um, OK, let's see. How's is decoder playing? Yes. Let's see the decoder. Right. Come on, decoder. Oh, 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 oh. Decoder, Sorry, you decoder. Need more pieces than this, but <laughs> no. The good uh, thing is there'll be a stalemate. Actually, I'm going to see if, if decoder gets another game straight away. Not yet. Okay, what about Wilsonia? Let's see. Uh, Wilsonia is white here and has well done, the Wilsonia. extra exchange. And pretty, pretty yep, this is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, let's assume you've got that one under control. Oh, we only have actually another 50 seconds. So um, uh, we are almost finished with this arena. Um, let's see, not going, blue, blue cow, no, mouse slip. Okay, let's see mouse slip. Um, I don't think this game's going to have enough time to finish, actually. Oh, actually, he's playing in something else. He's playing in Swedish. Yes. <laughs> that was clever. How do you manage that? Okay, um, fine. Let's see, Ocelot, no, David Cedric, no. Harry the BK. Let's see Harry. Okay, Harry. Um, Harry White. Uh, and two What's seconds left. Here? What's going on? He's a piece down. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. let's see. Unlock it. Uh, yeah. So the arena is actually now over. We have finished in second place. Uh, let's just have a look at the individual scores here. We uh, the the whole event. The top scorer was again Rommel Ganzen from Ilolo, um, and actually the top. Gosh, the top eight players are all from Ilolo. Um, we have. Uh, We've got the more strength and depth. We've got um, Wood Pusher was our top score. Um, uh, Conrad Allison and Square Taker were our top three. And GM Atomrod was coming back very quickly after finishing off in the Grand Prix. Um, special mention to Decoder, who got his rating just for a bit above 1500. He's 1498 now, so we'll see if he gets that back above 1500. Um, well played to all the English um, and uh, top 10 pairings are closed um, well done decoder and remember all to register if you can for this charity event on June the 5th and 6th it's going to be lots of fun which for charity does it support in the town so it's British Red Cross good, uh, so, good. So it's checkmate covid and British Red Cross um, it raised over ten thousand pounds, I think, last year fantastic. for British Red Cross, which is fantastic, and and we're hoping to do even better this year. So please do register. Um, please follow us on this channel um, and enjoy playing uh, lots of. I think it's split. Actually, I should check the time control of, of the games, but I think it's it's rapid games. Um, you can play all night. Uh, lots of top players playing as well. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.